let me introduce to you uh, animated slice transform. It's a plugin that lets you animate your slices. At the bottom here, you can add your slices. There are the usual uh, horizontal and vertical. These you can uh, loop. So if you want to animate it, uh, rotate and scale. We also have a crossfade. There you can transition between the A and B slices. We have different modes. There's also a zoom function. You can choose to repeat the outside or mirror them. You can also flip your slices. We have a crop tool. You can choose your center points here. So top right, that's me. Move. Crop it to the top right. This also works for reveal. So this way you can slide in your slices. Make some uh, nice transitions. And then we have some luminance control and alpha control. We also have some advanced features. In these uh, text areas, you can add lines of numbers and each line will correspond to slice so this way you can have uh, different flips per slice the same goes for the review so now we have custom reveals and we have a lock on the luminance so alert for the first slice 50 for the second percent for the last one now you see the 30 percent lock use the most of the slider and the 100 percent in the middle will not be affected by the slider it's a bit of a janky way of doing it but also a very powerful one because if you have 100 slices you can have 100 lines of uh, integers and otherwise i had to have 100 parameters if you only use one slice so this way it's it's quite dynamic but also a bit um, it's not a common use of the, the string input but i like it so i put it in this is a different way of using the animated slice transform in slice a i only have one slice and in slice b i have seven so now we have a cloner who clones seven times um, if i only use the move it will copy the shape of a and if i use shape it will copy the shape of b and more of it if i will change the size of the a slice to make this more pronounced So now when I crossfade, you can see the, the morph. Um, so it's a very powerful way of uh, cloning. This is a different way to use this plugin. I have here an image of seagulls on a transparent background. And use slices to get their center points. So in the advanced mapper you can see I have here all the A slices are on the center points of the seagulls and B are in a different location. So when I use the crossfade they move between the A and the B. You can also animate this bounce slower so this way you get nice um, custom vectors for all your animations 
this is a different setup. Uh, it works on the review or the crop or vice, vice versa. Uh, if I kill the animation, we can see how it's made. Um, here there are five different integers corresponding with the five slices. Um, and we can use the horizontal to review or slide them in. If I use the change the one here to a two, I can also slide in from the top. Uh, the one is center, so it's a bit strange when using uh, the center point to slide in, even for a crop. So I changed that to a two. It's uh, nice and smooth. This, an, this is another situation where animated slice transform can help you with um, uh, mapping. So the complicated thing of mapping 3D in 3D space with 2D textures is that you need to make a seam. And um, this can never be really perfect, but uh, animated slice transform can help you with that because we, we have seams here on the top and here at the back. Um, and we can make two setups um, with each their own uh, correct seam or correct uh, global position. So what we see here is the, the global position of the slices. If I open this one, here you can see uh, we have the correct seams. So all the seams are at the right spots but the global position is not correct. Um, so what I've done here is I made a source. So the source is the one with the, the correct seams uh, and a target where I uh, rotated the, the slices here on the sides to have the right global position. Um, and this is the one output Uh, this is the, the way it goes to the LED screens. And I have a default version. So now the, the global position of the texture is correct. So if you want to move, have a moving thing from bottom to top, this will in, correct, be correct in this situation. But if you want to want something to move from left to right, um, this is the correct movement because it goes from here over the top to the other one. Here you can see uh, the two working together. So the, the pink one has the right seams, and the blue one has the right global position. Um, and here you can see that in a 3D scene. And it's uh, especially when you have circles. So now you can see in the corner they just uh, connect in the right way. If I you should do this in the global position, you see the seams in the corner are not correct. So that's the the power of this way of working that you have the option to have the global position right and um, the seams right. I hope you enjoy this plugin. If there is anything uh, that's not working, uh, contact me on Instagram or uh, via Juice Bar.